Hey guys, Kim here. Welcome to the vlog. Today I'm going to Blue Lake um, Cascade Trailhead. And so I woke up really early. Uh, I was contemplating yesterday whether or not to do this, but I was just like, I have nothing else to do. So might as well hike and check out that trail and finally go to probably McCall, Idaho and see what this place is all about and just like chillax in the lake or whatever. So yeah. Let's go on to this, I guess, wild adventure. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> I am currently at Cascade, Idaho. I'm supposed to do this Blue Lake Trailhead, but unfortunately, it's like one of those things, like, you see on the internet, we're like, yeah, that's pretty doable. And then I went there, and it's actually um, enclosed in a private property, like the road leading there, so I'm not sure. So I thought I'd be like, yeah, whatever. So I went here at Cascade State Park. Um, pretty cool. Um, wanted to do, I don't know if I can actually um, kayak here or paddle board, but just a stopover and then going to McCall. Welcome to Cascade Idaho State Park. Um, I love this place, very tranquil and serene and there's really not a lot of people, uh, some RVs and stuff, but today's a very good day to just go on an adventure. And it's just very calming, just like listening to the water and stuff. Yeah, I really needed this. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. Okay, I guess we're going this way. All right, so finally found a trail. It looks pretty much straightforward. Like, go here, 2.5 miles long. I'm not sure how long it will take me, but you know what? Actually, I need to set my timer, hold up. Okay, finally set my stopwatch. Um, I'm at Cascade, Idaho. I only saw this using Google Maps and at first I'm kind of like disappointed I wasn't able to go to that blue lake thing but hey I found an alternative trail which looks relatively safe so hiking away um, life updates oh my god so you know uh, been here for quite a while and you know I started getting hang of it you know kind of getting used to the routine and stuff. Um, unfortunately, um, five of us are leaving. Um, three or four in July, and then one in August. Um, they hired two new people and a bunch of new grads. So it will take a while for the new grads to take off. But yeah, um, also, uh, a lot of their experienced nurses are also leaving, trying to find, you know, a more laid-back job. Uh, sorry if it's kind of wobbly, this is like my non-dominant hand. Hold up. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to just take it easy. Um, I honestly, my assignment is not so bad. There are a few moments when it gets like really busy, like crazy patients, but it's usually just one. Um, like the other night, I guess we just became like a med surge overflow. Um, patient is not really mentally up here and not really appropriate to our floor, but I guess there's no other room, so 
became an overflow for us. She wasn't so bad. Uh, they gave her a lot of things down to ED, but still, it's a lot of work for us two hours. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm just trying to focus on the road. Uh, as you can tell, this is like my favorite jacket just because like it has this really nice lining uh, so I'm not too hot not too cold temperature is probably around 60 degrees Fahrenheit um, I plan on camping around June like in the last juicy bits of it uh, excuse me I haven't really camped since elementary school so not really sure how long I'll survive out there in the wild. Hopefully June is not as hot as Florida, but here I am. <laughs> um, also thinking about buying a paddle board, although they are really expensive. Um, and I don't know if I'm a paddle board person, but I feel like I'm more like a kayak person just because it, like everything enclosed into a boat like shape thing so hey look at this it's so pretty okay um nothing really much to see here this hike just trees and you know just me walking around um the trail is fairly easy really flat um it looks like it did rain overnight so yeah the soil is kind of soft um i'm really enjoying my stay here and i feel like i really did make a great decision for my career um so far life is good Over at Seattle or the Washington state and in Idaho, they remove the mask mandate if you are vaccinated. But in certain places, like if you enter like uh, a store or you know in a public area where it's fairly crowded and enclosed space, you still have to wear a mask. So there is that. I love whenever they include this type of information here because I love reading things. So here it is. Welcome to Crown Point Trail. You're about to walk down a piece of Long Valley history between 1912 and 1914. I still like doing the old man's voice. Oregon Short Line Railroad, Union Pacific, lay down track, Smith Ferry to McCall. This new railroad made shipping to and from Long Valley much simpler. The residents of the Long Valley waited to hear where the tracks would be routed. The placement of the tracks would determine the fate of certain valley towns. The decision was placement. Oh wait, the decision was made to have depot in Cascade, Donnelly and McCall and other towns, Van Wyck Center and Roseberry were skipped by the train. So their businesses were moved into the depot towns. When Boise Cascade Mill and McCall closed in the mid 1970s, the tracks were removed and the line was abandoned. The property then reverted back to adjacent landowners when the reservoir was proposed. It was necessary to relocate the railroad tracks that ran along Payette River. This trail is a reroute where the train gained elevation to make it up the hill. And look at that view. Wow. I feel like I should go there. Definitely should. So this is it, and it's so gorgeous out here, like I'm telling you, like I never thought I would fall in love with Idaho, but I did. And so going back to the original trail onwards, um, what else can I tell you? Okay, um, I noticed that a lot of providers here use this Cyprexa to kind of like sedate a patient. Um, and I noticed that when a patient comes 
and what a heart problem. But they also have like psych issues. They don't normally um, consult psych. I feel like it should be also automatic, you know, because like everything goes hand in hand. But what do I know? Um, that's just an observation. Is me Loki struggling going back to the track and I forgot my stick again but yeah I think this loop just goes around and I wish I brought my hat with me but whatever here we are back to the trail again not really sure if you can see me properly because I feel like I'm against the light not even sure if you can hear me, but um, another story I'd like to share because I'm out here, right? So I tried online dating just to get some local, you know, recommendations and stuff. Not just here, but also Washington State. Um, dates were like kind of like hit and miss or whatever, but recently, oh my god, I just discovered. Like, I guess scams are all over the place, even in dating apps. <laughs> oh my god, this guy, let me tell you, the audacity. Like, I don't know. Uh, I guess a lot of people think that I'm easy or easily swayed or swoon over or whatever. If you look like a certain way or whatnot. But this guy trying to trick me into doing like a forex investment account with him super duper suspicious hold up where does this go okay there's like stairs here okay all right i can totally see myself paddle boarding here or a kayak but not today i don't have any of those equipments but anyway so i meet this guy right match with him on tinder and just so funny, you know, you know the, the usual like, hi, hello, how are you, blah, 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 yawn. Um, and then eventually, after a couple days, it was just like, oh, I'm into this kind of thing. And all he wants to talk about is his gold investment and stuff. And that how he wants me to manage it for him. You know, just like, that's suspicious, isn't it? Like, you just match randomly to a person online and he was just like yeah handle it for me i'm just like sir sir either you're like rich for real for real or you think i'm a fool or are you a money launderer i don't know because like he showed me his account right like small clips of videos like this is how much money i got and i was just like okay i don't really care about that but sure <laughs> Yeah, I was just, it was just like, okay, I'm going to teach you this and that. And I'm just like, I'm not really interested in kind of like those things. Like sure, MT4, Method Trader 5 or whatever. Like I can download an app. But do I? Do I really? No, not really. I don't really want to. And I'm uh, not really into Forex. Um, I feel like, just like my other friend said, it's really... More like day trading, you know, um, not like stocks. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with my stocks, my investments and stuff. Um, but Forex is entirely a different ball game. I'm sorry, you're not seeing much over there. So, yeah. Um, way back in the day, I wanted to get into Forex. Uh, I guess if he met me before, <laughs> I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll be all over him, you know. But now I'm just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I guess scams are all over the place. And I talked to my friends about it. And we call those people stock fishing. <laughs> and it's just so weird because the things he's saying to me doesn't really add up. Like, oh, I'm doing this and that. And he got this like Instagram persona or whatever. And I'm just not buying it just because like, it's just so, like, everything is so recent, and just the way he talked to me, you know, like, like, I guess when you talk to people online, you can't really hear their voice, but the way they type stuff, 
I kind of like just imagine it, but I'm just like, sir, no boy, no, you know. Oh, I found a bench. Nice. I can sit there and contemplate about my life's choices. But you know what? I'm gonna keep on going. Ah, I really wish this time I brought my hat. I don't know why I didn't brought my hat. But yeah. Uh, so be aware about people scamming you online. There's a bunch of them. Speaking of scams and money, uh, I watch this show, um, Money Explained, on Netflix. And <laughs> just so funny because they also talk about um, pyramid scams, like how scam, like throughout history, kind of like evolved. So yeah, there's that. Um, currently watching Girl from Nowhere on Netflix as well. Kind of reminds me of Hell Girl. But this one, there's more justice, you know? I'm kind of like rooting for Nano instead of Yuri. What else am I up to? I watch, uh, is it Army of the Dead? Uh, I'm glad it's on Netflix, but actually you can also watch it in the movies. But there's that. Also, I forgot to tell you, on my way here at um, Cascade, Idaho, there's actually a bunch of construction. I guess they're blasting some parts of the mountains. So I guess they could kind of like expand the road, you know? Um, but yeah, really peaceful out here. Um, yeah, I, I think I would recommend this to a couple of my friends. Maybe bring some of them here if they want to. But I like exploring Idaho. I like being outdoors now. Just because like I feel like with 2020, like I'm mostly indoors. Well, I'm, I'm mostly like an indoor person anyway. But I feel like because all my plans were kind of like halted in a way, like the only time I went out of the country was when I went to Europe. Uh, and that, that was it. It was around January, February. And I was just like praying for my dear life that the states won't close just because I know the virus is making its rounds. Um, but yeah, I feel like 2021, I had a lot more adventure in me, you know? So that was nice. I feel like I need to fix my shoe. I put a memory foam in my hiking boots and now it's kind of like pushing up front. So I need to find a spot to actually um, fix this. So there's that. Okay, I kind of forgot where we stopped. I think we were talking about like Netflix shows. But anyways, um, on my way here is actually a pretty nice scenic route. It's just, I can't really film when I drive. And it's just a winding road, you know? And I have to be really careful because also uh, there's like caution about rocks falling. So there is that. And um, I'm just like at all whenever I drive, I feel like hopefully when I'm old and gray, I'll be able to still remember all this, like what I saw on the road. And that's why I like creating these vlogs. So, you know, um, years from now, I'll remember what I've done. Well, hopefully so, because it's just here on the internet. Um, what else? Um, there's like a bunch of like random trails going somewhere but I'm just going to the main one um, the soil is soft so it's really nice and cushiony not hard on the knees at all and I'm really glad I bought these hiking shoes because uh, really good fraction there um, so I can see a couple of like shoe tracks living here could be fresh could be a couple of days old but yeah uh, I guess not a lot of people know about this trail or so according to the internet but it's really nice so I'm not really looking at camera trying to pay attention where I'm walking 
um, when I was a kid too, I like to see where I'm going, <laughs> which people think is kind of weird. Like, kid, you have to look like straight, but I'm just like, like this, looking at my feet because I don't want to, you know, trip over and stuff. Um, I don't really know what else to tell you. Uh, I'm really just very excited because, like, after this assignment, I'll be going back to Washington and then, you know, back to my original timeline. I still feel like a time traveler whenever I say that. Like, I'll be back in my original plan, my original timeline. Like, what are you talking about? But, yeah. It's also nice to breathe some fresh mountain air. Because I feel like, you know, once I'm back out there, there's really not a lot of things to do trail-wise. Um, also now, contemplating if I do buy, like, either an inflatable paddle board or like the modular board that I've been eyeing for a while like I don't know where to use it you know uh, there's a bunch of marinos out there but I don't know I still don't know if I'm a paddle board person but yeah um, it's it's so nice that the weather is like this not too hot not too cold not a lot of insects um, they say during summertime there's plenty of mosquitoes, but I feel like it's just everywhere else. Um, but I'll tell you, uh, trying to prep for the camping trip, but I still, you know, trying to contemplate about it if I can actually do it. I could probably survive a night out in the wild as long as I find a great campground, but other than that, I don't really know. Um, what else to tell you? So over here at the Cascade region, there's a bunch of like campgrounds and like, you know, like restrooms and stuff. No shower, just restroom. Um, no flushes either. So just like you just poop or pee and then you just go. There's no sink for water or anything, but pretty much. Uh, the daily fee is like $7. A lot of people here with RVs, I thought that was just a, a Florida thing, but it's not because um, over here on this side of the coast, a lot of people do like to spend their time outdoors. So there is that. Ooh, look at this. Oh my God, let me show you. So over here, there's like a sandy beach. I don't know if there's road leading down there. I mean, probably, but it's so nice. I wish I brought my food, or at least some of it, so I can picnic it out. But, you know what? I told myself I'm not gonna bring too much cargo. I'm just gonna walk and go. Um, so yeah, um, camping season is definitely upon us. Um, uh, oh, here's the thing about camping. So when you go to a nurse's station, it's so nice because like they have pictures of all the staff and stuff. And it's nice to see their hobbies and they're mostly outdoors. And you know, you're in different coasts. If it looks like that. It's just so nice because we don't have those in Florida. So yeah, uh, just walking to this endless 2.5 miles of this. But Ooh, another chair. And is that another placard? All right, let's read what this one says. All right, this one talks about foxes. Ooh, foxy trickster. And so it says, watch out for opportunistic omnivores trickery, because once spotted, they're gonna bait their prey by, I guess, jumping around. <laughs> gotcha, it's too late to run, that's funny. Uh, Vixen screams. Uh, you can hear on the trail, uh, female to attract mates, gickering, clittering, kind of called noise sounds, noisemaker, the birthday party. Hmm. All right. Whines and whimpering with foxes used to greet each other. Well, that's good to know. All right. Onward. So far, no wildlife spotted besides squirrels, like baby squirrels. They're so adorable. I uh, wasn't able to catch them on camera just because they were like really fast. Like, 
fast. So, um, what else? Funny stories. Hmm, let me try to think of funny stories. Oh yeah, so the other day, <laughs> one of the rooms were blocked, it says for a special patient. And then we're like, ooh, what is this? Because we've never seen that before. And so we're kind of like brainstorming what it could mean. And I was just like, ooh, what if it's a VIP, like the president? <laughs> and then they just started laughing at me. I don't know, I came up with the most uh, ridiculous ideas at work. Um, what else? Let me think of anything else while I'm walking and I'll keep you posted. Alright, I just thought of another one. So, um, over here, you know, you have to double check with a patient in regards to their code status. Like, if your heart stops, um, we're gonna do everything, uh, crack a couple of ribs, make sure you're, you live, and blah blah blah, is their full code, and if they're like DNR, DNI, you know, we're just gonna let you go, uh, at peace, blah blah blah. So, <laughs> there are like a couple of doctors who are really good at explaining these things. As nurses, we just kind of like verify it with a patient. If they said, yeah, I do everything, okay, you're good to go. If they said, no, I'm doing our eye, um, you got to put this purple sticker. I have some instances of like patients for the life of them couldn't decide what they want, you know? So, uh, there was this one guy. I was floated to another hospital. Um, so, oh my god. He's been like DNR, DNI for like, like decades, you know? And he came in for heart failure. And his EF is like less than 25%. And so when I came to verify it with him, and he's pretty much with it, he was just like, no, I want you to do everything. So I was just like, okay, great. Now I have to notify the provider. And so like, Made our chef. He was kind of like, you know, like thinking what he actually wants. So I was like, no, I'm a DNR now. No, I'm full code. So I told the provider, like, doctor, you need to talk with this patient because he kept changing his mind. And good thing, the provider that night was super duper nice. I feel like the providers, the hospital I'm working with, they're pretty nice and laid back, the hospital is. So you know, he came to talk with a patient, like, sir, you've been DNR, DNI for like decades. What changed your mind? And the patient was like, oh, you know, I'm just thinking about it, blah, blah, blah. And then the doctor was like, pretty much straightforward. Sir, you're like 80 years old and your heart is really weak. I don't think it's smart to do such a thing. And so the patient would just like automatically like, yeah, okay. <laughs> just like, what the heck, sir, sir. Um, and then I do get some patient like one time. Well, I feel like it's a graphic design problem the way they do the modified DNR. Like, um, this patient of mine, he was just like, oh, you know, I thought like if I'm DNR and I, he's like, if, in case I have a stroke and a vegetable or whatever. And I told him like, there is no vegetable clause. You know, either you want us to do everything or nothing at all. Uh, he was like, okay, maybe a couple of shocks and a couple of, you know, chest compressions, but no ventilator. And I'm just like, sir, uh, like, we have to put an airway. You know, like, you can't really survive but an air without an airway. But the hospitalist doesn't want to deal with him. And so I have to write a freaking essay about it and basically um, have to, you know, write a note and a sticky note for the provider during the day shift because the hospitalist doesn't want to talk to the patient anymore because he told the ED provider and him that he wants to be DNR DNI. And so there is that. Um, but you know what? It's up to you. This is your life. But if you have multiple comorbidities and like, you know, your heart is weak and stuff, uh, you have to think about your quality of life. It's all about the quality of life. Like, you don't want to be living, but your quality of life is basically gone, you know? It's hard.
for you, and then it also is hard for the family, for your family. And so, there's that. Something to think about, you know? It's nice to see young trees. I love it. I love it. Um, I did notice there are some, like, cabins over here, which is nice. I feel like it's nice to have a cabin in the woods. Um, really peaceful, getting all these birds. And it's just, overall, even though it's gray, I like it, you know? Um, not too hot, not too cold. Maybe I should have put on sunblock, but I didn't. So, there's that. Um, not really sure how far along I've gone, but I've been walking this trail for more than 40 minutes. So, yeah. I feel really good and energized in a way because I feel like I am sweating but not a whole lot that I'm overly dehydrated and it's just nice to walk on scenery. Um, yeah, but I'll keep you posted what else is out here but so far it's just trees. Alright, found another board. This one is telling you how to become a nature detective. You know, have a magnifying glass, a ruler, a notebook, and basically look at all these footprints and stuff. But, yep, found a bench, which is nice. I feel like I'll sit here for a moment and just enjoy this gorgeous view. Look at this view. Wow. I mean... I'm pretty good here. I don't know if I want to continue down this road, but it's super duper nice and it's not like I have anything else to do. Um, part of me wish I have like a boat, a yacht, like a kayak or my paddle board, but I don't know. Like the water is pretty calm. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a learning curve if I do purchase either a kayak or a paddle board. But yeah, alright, okay, so I guess I'll just continue on with the trail and see where it leads. Um, but yeah, pretty nice nature walk. Um, just so nice to be one with nature, you know. I feel like you should drink whenever I say nice. But also, because the mass mandate will be, you know, somewhat sooner or later, will just take over everywhere. Feels kind of weird when you're not wearing a mask because I feel like now it's kind of like part of my identity, especially in the hospital. And I don't really mind wearing a mask in the hospital because sometimes I look so dead. And sometimes, you know, like after lunch, you have like I have like stuff in between my teeth, especially when I eat like vegetable. Uh, I notice that like now that I'm pretty good with flossing my teeth, like I have that gaps in between. So yeah, there's that. Um, I'll just you know, walk around and keep you posted if anything interesting happened. Okay, I think it's time to head back. This trail just got a little bit low kisses. There's like, <sighs> there's acorns, pine cones. I mean, there's like pine cones, and there's another one over there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Alrighty, I am heading back to the parking lot. I am kind of tired, uh, kind of hungry, so I'm going to McCall now and see what it's like out there and probably gonna stay there for a couple of hours, check out the marina, lounge around there, eat some food, a couple of spots I want to check out for food, uh, probably take out I don't know. We'll see what the vibe is like. I uh, feel like I've been walking forever, but maybe like an hour or so. And going back will be another hour. Unless I run. I can actually run a mile for like eight minutes or so. Not to brag or anything. <laughs> That's like my best time. But I haven't run in a while. Um, there's a guy in their boat. Must be nice to have a boat. There's also like a house over there. They have their own dock and canoe. Uh, that would have been nice. So yeah, heading back. Uh, see some insects flying around. And I don't want to be their lunch because it's almost lunch time. So yeah, really nice out here. Uh, 
Too bad I don't have any outdoor gear yet. By that I mean like water gear and stuff. But yeah, I'll see you when I head to McCall. Hello. Um, really beautiful day to paddleboard, to kayak, any water sports, but it's still freaking cold. I would say now that I'm close to the water, probably 50-ish Fahrenheit, so yeah. Summertime though, I think it will be pretty dope. But yeah, I feel like I'll come back here once I've decided to own a water equipment, like a paddleboard or a kayak or a canoe, definitely not a canoe or <laughs> something portable. But, like, there's some families out, but for the most part, it's lunchtime. I ate some Elk Burger from, I think, the Blue Moon drive through So. That's the update. Not really sure if you can see me because I feel like I'm against the light, but I'll be chilling here for a moment. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the view. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I don't really know what else to do, what else to say. I'm just here. I'll probably like go around the marina and check out any local attractions. But for the most part, I think I'll I'll be back here. So. Yeah, see you in the next one. Okay, so before we were like way over there and now we're at the marina. Some people are out and about and I think we're just gonna go and explore this small, beautiful town. Here's the layout of the town beautiful view of the lake and the mountains. So tell here are some of the establishments. Really quaint. Oh the sweet shop is actually closed. Um, but yeah I'm just gonna roam around here and see what they have. I saw like a thrift shop but I don't know if it's open. It seems like it. But um Actually, at Starbucks by Albertsons, and they all got a basic dish drink here. It's just a matcha cappuccino. They have a lot of refreshing drinks. I guess they're summer drinks, but I didn't get those. Uh, this is my go-to drink. And as you can see, the views here it's gorgeous. That's why I wanted to stop by. I don't really drink Starbucks a whole lot, but I hope this instant would. Um, so yeah, uh, this place is actually more like a resort town and so a lot of people here go during winter time summer maybe it's funny because I, I told the lady my name is KC which is like my initials but she spelled it wrong of course but whatever <sighs> can't really say how would you spell that you know it's like whatever um anyways I bought a kayak which is an inflatable one. It's an Intex K2 um, kayak. It's like other people that I'm trying to like no key vlog. So the really vlog can pick it that much. I'll try to inflate it and try to uh, use it by the park. Although I don't really have my life vest, so I'm not sure what the rules are over here. It's not like well I can swim, sort of. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I just want to see if there's any like defects. Um, really happy. Albertsons is like selling those on sale price instead of me buying it on Amazon. Um, pretty big, hefty box. So yeah, actually got a carrying case, so we'll check that out. I'll unbox it. Actually, I don't really know how to unbox it. Excuse me. Just cause. Um, just because, like that lady said, we're in a strange place. Well, this is fairly new to me. It's my first time here, but I'm totally enjoying it. I, mean, I love this place just because of the view. The weather is so great. I don't really know. 
I feel like this is one of those like nice day trip kind of thing, you know? So I'll take my time here, drink my drink. Um, hopefully by sundown I'll be back at Boise. Also over here it's more like an like an honest system. Like you can wear a mask if you're not fully vaccinated or non vaccinated customers. It's kind of suspicious, like, do they really play the non on their system? But anyways, um, tax 6% plus 1%, I don't know what's the 1%, but yeah, so overall 7%, not so bad, kind of like Florida, I guess. Um, but yeah, still fantastic views of the mountains, there's still like snow caps. Um, this place is great. I'm totally loving it. I'm definitely going to show this. Or if someone visits me, I'll probably show them around here if we have time. Because it is two hours to go here. I don't really know what else to say. Um, uh, there's really not a lot of trails here. Like I said, this is more like a ski mountain resort type thing. And it is spring transition into summer. So, no more ski resorts. Um, other than that, I mean, crowds popping. I guess it's because it's almost close to 4 p.m. Kids out of school. People finally decided to get up. Yeah, pretty much it. Um, now that I'm just chilling here, like, the key kind of is. Like, when I was in the Philippines, you know, like sometimes friends and I would just like hang out at Starbucks or some coffee shop and just chill or study or whatever. Now, I'm just, I'm just here, just enjoying the view, trying to rest. I felt like I really burned a lot of calories just like walking around. I never really did finish the hike, but my battery is <laughs> like low-key down here. Um, it was a really um, easy hike. It's just super duper sweet and I wish I had like a kayak, which I do now, so uh, hopefully try to test that out. Um, but yeah, this is a nice day trip and I'm really happy that I'm here. I just like people watching and it's nice. The house is here probably sky high just because of the view and stuff. And this being a kind of like a resort place. I wonder if the tax is like all the person was for his old food. Welcome to Ponderosa State Park. Just a different view of McCall, but it's very, very peaceful around here. Seems like it's low tide. I can technically load my kayak here. As you can see, they have a line where you can swim. And I guess over there is really, really um, deep. So, that's what the beach looks like here. Really nice, peaceful. Not a lot of people. Um, it's $7. To enter, you'll just have to pay by the gate, but it's not guarded or anything. So, dude, it's wow. It would be nice to have a house here in McCall, just stay here for the summer. And look, you can have your own dock and stuff. I'm not really sure if you can see, but there's a bunch of houses there. So, Overall, it's a pretty nice day trip here at McCall Wear my Ajuma hat as per usual But this view is great um, Looks like Let me take a look, there's like a whirlpool over there But just being here is nice um, I'm glad I was able to buy that two-person kayak. I feel like I am a kayak person because I want everything on my extremities 
NT about <laughs> versus a paddle board. I feel like kind of safe, you know, just just my legs out in the water. What if someone grabs it or whatever? But um, I really hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. I know sometimes it's kind of blah, but this is just life, man. It's just just me out here in the wild, dude. So let's go explore the rest of the park. This really not too much. There's just like a bunch of docks in there where you can park your boat and stuff. Um, the rest is just space. So let's go check out that side and see what's up. On this side of the park, there's a bunch of bungalows or cabins. Not sure if they're like for rent or what, but I definitely would rent if they are. But this is another gorgeous view just going around the park. This is quite a drop though. But when the water is calm like this, I'm Loki suspicious. Like Loki says, like what's going on there? And there's no boat. There's no one out in the water. So it's kind of like, hmm, should I? I feel like if I only have a life vest and you know, like totally put some muscle into inflating my inflatable kayak. I'll definitely be out in the water. But I'm kind of a little wuss, you know. I'm all about my safety here. Um, and this is like my first time to use a kayak. I never canoe. Uh, all I did water wise is to swim. Or um, I did jet ski once. But I do have a life vest. Uh, <laughs> did I fall in the water? Uh, I don't think so, but I was out there for like 10 minutes or so. Pretty wild. Um, maybe because it's just a Wednesday, I was out in the water. But yeah, I feel like if I did grow up here, uh, I feel like summertime would be spent outdoors in the water. But at the moment, I'm just enjoying just, just being here. So there's that. And it's kind of hot to head home, so for now, I'll stay here, and then uh, maybe around 5-ish, I feel like I should start, you know, getting around to it. Um, sunset is around 9 p.m., so there is that. Uh, I just, I'm just loving this moment. 